Hey, how are you doing there, Daryl? Hey, what's going on? What'd you do? I tried putting the clutch back in, didn't get it in that little stupid tab. Well, you need a clutch? Yeah, I pulled the stinking wires out of the... Oh, yeah? Were you drinking? Well, I might have had a few beers. Oh, yeah? How many's a few? Oh, ten. Ten? Oh, okay. That's, that's a few. All right. Well, you know what? You're lucky. I can fix that. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, this is going to set me back a few hundred dollars? or No, no. You're lucky. You don't need a whole new one. I got a way of fixing that. I'm going to reach into my bag of tricks and... Pull one of them out, one of them is fixing this clutch. Oh, well, where do you keep this bag of tricks? Don't worry, there ain't no beer in that bag of tricks for you. Well, I just want to stick my hand in and feel around. Well, you just stick your hand in there, it might get chopped off. So. Oh, oh, wow, that's yeah. some bag of tricks. Oh, there. yeah, you got to watch out. There's sharp objects in that bag of tricks. Well, well, I'll have to wear gloves, I guess. Yeah, you're going to have to. All right. Well, let me know when that's ready. All right, go home, have a few more pops, and come back in a couple <laughs> hours, and I'll have have this ready for you. Okay, I see this quite a bit in most places, you know, you just got to buy a new clutch. And what happens is somebody will take the clutch off, put the clutch back on, they don't get it locked in. And then this thing spins around and rips the wires right out of it. See what happened there? See, they're ripped off right flush. And you think, oh, there's no way to fix that. There ain't enough wire there to solder it or connect it back up. So what I do is I take a 764 drill bit and I drill through the top, even with the wires. And then if you got the plug, the other part that's still good, the wires, crimp on a couple of eyelets, some number six by half sheet metal screws. And then you simply just Screw them in, make your connection. Tighten them down. Then I usually take some silicone Goober that up real good all the way around make like an insulator and then all you do is test it I got a couple of jumper wires here I'm gonna plug in and then I got a battery because you want to test it before you put it back on hey it's working clickety clack clickety clack Woo! clickety clack clickety clack See, it's working. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. And there's your dinner. That's a simple fix, and it saved you $300. Look at there. All fixed up again. Put it back on your tractor, but this time get it locked in so it don't spin and rip this out.